Hi, my name is Brianna Catwall, and today I'm going to be giving you a walkthrough of my reed making technique. First, I start with Pukal cane from Miguel Pukal in Spain. This is his gouged and profiled cane. And now I am shaping the cane with a George Reeker 1A fold over shaper, and I am shaping this with a gem razor blade. Now I'm going to take that same razor blade and I'm going to bevel one side of the cane and I bevel both the right and the left side. This is what makes the butt of the cane a circle. Now I am adding on my first wire and this is using 22 gauge brass wire. I start by twisting with my fingers and then I use Nipex pliers with a twist and pull method. Now I'm going to be scoring the cane, and I score my cane in thirds. I do two really big scores, and then in the middle I do about four mini scores. And I'm using those Nipex pliers to warp the cane into a circle. Now I'm putting on the second wire. And the second wire goes on the opposite side of the first wire. And I do not measure my first and second wires because I believe that those measurements are subjective to the piece of cane that you are using. Then the cane will sit on a Rieger drying rack with Rieger pecs for two to three days. Now we are using a dry piece of cane and we are adding the third wire. The third wire is always five millimeters above the butt of the reed. And this is just that same twist and pull method. And then I'm crimping the reed again just to make sure it forms a circle. Now I am wrapping the reed. This is what we like to call a turban and this is with Reeds by Stephanie's Solidarity thread. Wrapping actually serves a purpose. It keeps the weight at the bottom of the reed so if you ever drop your reed it won't fall on the blades and crack your reed. You can also seal the wrapping with Duco cement, liquid fusion, or even beeswax with whatever you prefer in order to make sure the reed seals. Now I'm using a George Rieger tip profiling machine, and this helps ensure that the tip of the reed is always accurate. Then I do a little scrape work on the tip, the channels, and the rails, and that is my reed making technique. Thank you so much for joining me today.